He is one of Tombstone's most legendary lawmen. And this Memorial Day weekend, we are honoring him. Bronco Bill is here to tell us all about the 34th annual Wyatt Earp Days. Bronco Bill, welcome back to the show, sir. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. <laughs> well, a good howdy to you. So, Wyatt Earp Days, I want to know, why did this start and why do you do Wyatt Earp Days? Well, years ago, somebody was uh, trying to figure out to do something besides Helderado and Tombstone. So, Wyatt Earp has been the most legendary lawman in Tombstone, but actually, he was only temporary a lawman. His brother Virgil was more the lawman than he was. He only filled in at the when the OK Corral broke out, Aww, but he was, <laughs> but he was known in Kansas as a lawman. So uh, th th you know his legend followed him from Kansas into Tombstone. So what do we do? What activities do we do to honor him? It's uh, a family day for everybody. It's to re uh, to revitalize the spirit of the old West. I mean, uh, you know, all other places like Tucson. Old Tucson Studios always say, keep the spirit of the West alive. That was my Hanukkah I put on years ago. And we try, that's what we try to do in Tombstone, keep the spirit of the West alive. I love that. And so this is a whole event. You're going to have entertainers, is that right? Right. We have t right, uh, right now we have 10 gunfighting groups come from all over the Southwest. The furthest one's coming out of Guthrie, Oklahoma. Wow. And they come every year for White Earp Days. And you also uh, maybe do like a chili cook-off? Yeah, the chili cook-off was supposed to be on Sunday, but they changed it to Saturday. Okay. So anybody who is uh, planning to come on Sunday, redo your plans and come Saturday. Don't miss the chili. <laughs> no, that chili's good. I've been to Tombstone, too, and it's, it's such a cool place to visit anyway, but what better time to make sure you get down there than for these white herb days. Right, and it's not going to be on Allen Street like it has been in the past. It's going to be over on Fifth Street, one of the side streets, so give them a lot more room to uh, do the chili. Now, Bronco Bill, I know that a lot of people come to Tombstone for those gunfights. Can we, is there going to be a schedule of when they're happening? Yes, there will be a schedule available at the visitor center when people get there. Right now, we always wait till almost the last day to put the schedule out because people's travel restrictions, sometimes they arrive late and so we have to change it. And so the uh, day before the event was usually in stone. Okay, and I know this is an event where we're trying to generate um, some funds to, as a fundraiser. How much does it cost to come to the events? Nothing. It's free? Right. Uh, if you have to buy your own uh, grub, you, you buy your own grub. Okay. If you want to buy a souvenir, a t-shirt, whatever, you buy your own. But the event is free. And it's ongoing from 10 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So then the only money you're really spending is any of the vendors that you visit. Right. And also we have a, um, a raffle for a um, 1851 Share Smile Black Powder uh, Revolver. Ooh. And you don't uh, have to have a permit to buy, purchase it because it is a uh, black powder. It's under the uh, Historic Firearms Act. Okay. So for those of us who don't really know what that is. <laughs> that means if you win it, you don't have to sign any papers. Okay. Okay. See, see, when you buy a regular gun in a store, you got to sign an FFL form. But when you win it in a raffle, all you have to do is get the weapon. Okay. And so for the raffle, when you pay to get into the raffle, are you taking those funds and, and using them for something? Oh, yeah. All the, uh, all the money from Wider goes to, goes to youth programs in Tombstone. And that's why these kids have a, you know, a chance to do all their athletics and everything else because of events like Wider Days. Excellent. And Bronco Bill, we always encourage people to dress up when they come to visit Tombstone. Is that right? Right. Well, this is my normal attire anyway. <laughs> I wear it every day. We have to come looking as uh, handsome as you. Oh, well, no, more beautiful than I am. Oh, well then. Well, we will make sure that people try to live up to that. So this right. is great. I love that you're giving back to the youth and you guys are going to do something free for the community to come out and just enjoy it. Right. So the whole family and they could just plan being there, but make sure you get there early. Get there early. Good advice. Bronco Bill, we always love when you come. I thank you, ladies, and I always like seeing you. Always. And you can be a part of the Wyatt Earp Days May 23rd through the 25th in Tombstone, Arizona. For more information, you can call 266-5266 or log on to WyattEarpDays.com.